This is a traditional Chesapeake Bay eel pod. It's a fight. Uh, it channels the eel into a chamber. The eel goes in there because of bait. And um, people, humans have been doing this in the world for thousands of years, catching fish with an entrapment system like this. So here we have some nice big, we would call these yellow eels. They're living in the brackish water part of the estuary until they become uh, sexually mature adults. So let's take a look at these guys. So here's the story on the life cycle of the American eel. They're born in the Sargasso Sea, which is a part of the Bermuda Triangle, um, just south of Bermuda. It's, it's a really relatively large section of the ocean, and there's a grass that grows there called Sargasso. So they're born and they start off as a floating egg. They hatch and uh, their larva stage, they are about the size and look uh, about like a willow leaf. And they drift around in a planktonic state for about a year until the Gulf Stream kind of slams them up against the Atlantic coast. And they start to branch off and go into the rivers and estuaries of the Atlantic coast. So. Some go into Brazil, into the Caribbean, all along the Gulf of Mexico, all around the coast, the, the sounds of the Carolinas, the Chesapeake Bay, the Delaware Bay, the Hudson River, all the way up into Maine and the Gulf of the St. Lawrence and Greenland, all have places that accept eels. And when they come in at that stage, they're a stage called glacial. They've metamorphosized into a non-pigmented fish. He's about as skinny as a thick spaghetti noodle. He's about that long. He's got two little black eyes. And he comes into the estuary. And if it's female, it goes until it gets to freshwater. They'll actually squiggle across dry sand to get into a freshwater swamp. I've seen it. And, um, and then they, they live and grow into a stage called yellow eel. These are all yellow eels living in the estuary and body itself. Yellow eels are largely nocturnal and uh, so they are down in the mud during the day and then they hunt and fish at night uh, attacking everything from clams to dead crabs or drifting fish meat or whatever it is. They, they can move equally as well as you can see forwards as backwards and um, if they come upon let's say a clam they can bite down on it and they spin and back off and uh, break it off that way. Eventually they get big enough um, to leave the freshwater systems and uh, the estuaries and they swim in giant schools back to the ocean. They metamorphosize once again into a stage called silver eel. Their eyes become twice as large, their gut degenerates and they get these bronze backs and they go back into the Sargasso Sea and they mate, the females lay between 20 and 30 million eggs um, and then presumably they die but science doesn't know for sure because really no one's ever witnessed eels actually mating. Great story. Well thanks for joining me in this episode of Cool Outdoor Stuff. Uh, not the full story but you have to admit, the, the American eel, really something. And if you, uh, if you happen to have some eels laying around and, and you've had a long day at work, it's a great thing to come home to a nice, relaxing eel foot massage. Oh, oh, that's fabulous, guys. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool outdoor stuff. <laughs>